Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, <laughs> we had discovered uh, that I'm not too bad at the combat. Uh, there was a couple enemies here. We ran into the first big bad who had a uh, couple of death blow points. Just two, instead of, you know, the usual one. And uh, we killed him after uh, resurrection. So, uh, that was impressive of me. Also, um, <laughs> uh, that was someone I watched uh, multiple, I think uh, the other streamer who was doing it as well, Wooly, uh, had run into significant amounts of problems with that guy. Uh, I beat him in one <laughs> run, really. Uh, with one death, resurrection, and kill. Uh, a lot of it was brute forcing, I'll admit. A lot of it was just brute forcing, but I managed to do it. So there's that. Anyway, I came back to the idol to teleport back. But then I noticed this popped up and I figured, you know what? I, I still have time. I can keep moving on with the game. All right, physical enhancement. The enhanced physical attributes ugh, option has been <laughs> unlocked in the Sculptor Idols menu. Here you can spend four prayer beads to create a prayer necklace, which will permanently increase your maximum vitality and posture. All right, I do not have enough yet, but, you know, three more. Just have to do that. Purchase spirit emblem. So this is where you can buy it, and it just costs a little sen. Just like 10. You get 11 for killing regular enemies, so... It's not... It's not all that expensive. Alright. I'm not gonna do that, though. Um... Rest. Travel. Enhance. Don't have four prayer beads required. Ah, well. Whee! Alright, so some of the enemies should have come back after that. Did I really not pick this up? More sugar. Yay! Alright. Alright. There we go. Nothing up here. Oh, that's so fun. Not even gonna lie. Moving around like that is so fucking fun. Alright. Oh, the other enemies didn't respawn, but... Huh. It did say with some exceptions, but I didn't think that would be the exception. Okay, whoops. Alright. And up we go. Oh, jeez, really? Oh, jeez, ow. Ha! Ah! Gotcha, motherfucker. There we go. Okay, so far so good. Up we go. Haha. -ha. Alright, yeah, these guys didn't respawn. At all. That is weird to me. Oh well. Up we go. Huh. There's only one dog here. Oh. There they are. Ow. Got off lock on for one second. Okay. Oh, I get spirit emblems from the doggos too. Oh. It's a terrible way to incentivize doggo killing. Oh. The terrible way to. <laughs> Enable the pupper snuffing. Oh. Game glorifying pupper snuffing. Oh. Because why not, you know? I was close enough range that I could have just swung my sword. I just hit the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, don't mind me. I can sometimes just lose my mind and hit the wrong controls. 
Okay. Well, this guy's not coming back because he was the tutorial thing. All right. Did I really not pick this up? It's a fistful of ash. Hmm. That was dumb of me. Not pick that up. Whee! All right, this is where the rest of the enemies are. Up I go. Maybe if I, uh... Oh, come on! Oh! I saw bullets! Okay, that's not good. Ow! Oh! Big boy! Okay, well, time to run. Ow. Ow, okay. Time to heal and gourd. Oh, boy. Hi there. Ow! You're a gun guy, okay. Okay. There we go. Here you. Really? Ow! I was trying to hit the button to grapple out. Damn it. Okay. Alright, I got cocky there. I got cocky. That was what my problem was. Wolf has the ability known as Night Eye, which allows him to see unusually well in the dark. This ability is innate and takes effect automatically whenever he is in dark places. Oh no, loss upon death. Experience towards the next skill point and current sin in hand are halved upon death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to no known means to escape this loss. However, through the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may not be impossible. Oh That sucks. I, what didn't I? Yeah, I have 30% unseen aid percentage chance. Are you kidding me? Pat gets like five in a row and I get zip? That's bullshit. That's shenanigans. I call shenanigans. Time to come back. Time for the comeback tour. Fuck you. Alright. Alright. Gotcha, bitch. Hi there. How you doing? Want to do anything? Ow! You fuck. How dare you? How dare you pull that maneuver on me? Okay. Well, that went how that went. Let's see if I can just go around him without... Airborne. There we go. It is possible. And I got a ceramic shard out of this guy. Cool. You know, that's not going to help much. I just hit the wrong damn button. Ah. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, that is so fucked. Oh no. Oh no. 
Sneak attack on Pupper. Oh. Pupper snuffing fucking stealthy edition. Oh. That sucks. Alright. Alright. Is there any way I can take out some of the uh, bigger, badder players? Quicker. That would be nice, but I don't know. So I did that quietly enough? No. There we go. Got you. I got a ceramic shard. Yeah, that's good. Can I get something that's actually worthwhile? Ow! Okay. Fuck you, buddy. How about that? Fuck you. Fuck. Die already. Oh, boy. Ceramic shards. Can I just not have all of those? Because they're worthless to me right now. serious about this. Okay, well. Woo! Alright. I'm noticing now that if I want to make sure I'm perfectly mobile at all times, I need to make sure that I unlock the fucking tracking of enemies. Otherwise, it doesn't go well for me. some of them off my back. Still one. Maybe I can take him out. Oh! Oh, he's gross. Oh, he is so gross. Oh! Ugh. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing of wealth. If one pops the golden Mibu Balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin for a period of time. Mibu means aquatic life or life born of the water. Yashina consider fountainhead, the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Hmm. So it's a temporary buff to get more coin, is what I'm getting. Oh, boy. Well, I kind of brute forced my way into actually not dying! That would have been embarrassing if my first death... Uh... <laughs> during this whole shebang is fucking off the cliff. Okay. Well, let's try over there. Okay, well. Sneak up on you. Hi there, buddy. You're 
blocking very well. I'll give you that much. Oh, jeez. Booyah. Okay. Alright, so... Hi there, buddy. Fairly simple. Fairly simple. All right. I want to find out where that fucking bullet guy is so I can kill his ass. For all the trauma he caused me. Oh, wait, he's down here. Whoop. There we go. It's a little awkward, but I managed to do it. Alright. We did it. Um. Who's this old? This old person. Oh, is that you, Inosuke? My son. Have you seen the young master? I'm not your son. I am not your son. There you go again, Inosuke. You always tease that I'm getting senile, but a mother knows her own son. Hmm. Well, uh -huh. anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Alright. Sounds good. Also, yeah, lady, you're kind of very senile. I'm not going to lie to you. Bye. I hear a chicken. Where chicken? I hear chicken. Or I also see enemy. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. I'm a ninja. Sneaky, sneaky. Whoop. Gotcha, bitch. Time to run away. Oh my god! Okay. That's a little much. Okay. Could we not, please? Could we not do that? Oh, fuck off. Okay. It didn't actually hit. Where did it go? Alrighty then. He can't see me here, but he can see me further down that way. Fair enough. Talk to this guy. Uh, oh. Is, it? is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami. A vassal of the Harata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady so in that house? That She's my mother, but her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently something about offering it to Buddha. 
I see. Sir, the man from before, right? I wanted to thank you for humoring my mother. That Bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently something about offering it to Buddha. You're welcome. You're very welcome. And let's talk to her. Inosuke, my son. Have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Have you tried the rundown temple with that stubborn sculptor in it? I'm sure you'll find Buddha there. Okay. Well. With that in mind, let's go to the sculptor's temple. Oh, wait. What's that about? Is there an enemy over here? Just didn't see or what? Maybe that was just the indicator for a grapple point. I don't know. Here we go. Wee. Wee. That is just fun doing that. Is this? No, it isn't. Or is it? That'd be a good way to get rid of that guy. But if I come back from the Sculptor's Temple, it's, he's just going to be back again. So it's better that I don't try it. Probably better that I don't. I guess it wouldn't hurt to at least check if it's doable. At the very least, check if it's doable. Okay, cool. No, it does seem doable at least. Just can't get up there after I get down here. doing wrong. All right. Well, so far so good. Hi there, buddy. Bye. Black gunpowder. Black grains forming the base for gunpowder. Material used in alchemical prosthetic tools, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. Even the most mundane form of gunpowder has a wide variety of applications. Antidote powder. A powerful antidote concocted, conco concocted, concocted rather, by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heals status abnormality poison and temporarily increases poison resistance. Magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. Fair enough. Alright, so I know how to take care of him. Which means the rest of them are easy peasy. Hi there, buddy. I'm killing your friend right in front of you. How's that feel? Ah. Oh, boy. I heard more. Okay. Okay, well. You're done. I'll leave them while this guy takes his damn time. Coming, buddy, or just gonna stand there? Ow, oh, fuck! Ow, I hit the button. I am angry. Ah! Fuck it. Hey, 
two skill points. All right. Good. All right. Okay. Well, time to go back. Time to go back. Wait, actually, I should check. Is there possibly a sculptor near, a sculptor's idol nearby? Because that would make it easier to come back here. I see it right over there. Oh boy. <laughs> Fighting through them might be difficult, but this is just chicken. Chicken, arise! Arise, chicken! Jeez, that's brutal. Alright, well. Alright. Here we are. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it. Sculptor's idol found. And I can travel back to the dilapidated temple. Beasts are scared by loud noises. This makes the Shinobi Firecracker prosthetic tool quite effective against them. Hmm. Hopefully I'll get it at some point. Okay. Machina outskirts. All right. I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Me too. Uh, is there any power, new? It comes from Lord Kuros. It's said to be a power of those who have been I repeated. Think... Let me know. I don't think... I... Yeah, I already oh, heard all of this. Did I hear the ringing of a chime? It was probably this bell. I was told to offer it to Buddha. Does the bell hold any significance for you? If it does, talk to the sculptor. He is quite knowledgeable when it comes to Buddha. Alrighty, fair enough. Another yeah, sculptor. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Shinobi esoteric test. The text. I can't. I can really talk, really. I can, for real. Uh, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by the shinobi. Grants the ability to learn shinobi style skills. Ooh. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the shinobi arts, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. What is it? Shinobi techniques. Recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Fair enough, I guess. Owning an esoteric text of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the sculptor's idle me skill menu. Okay. Each enemy defeated... Defi uh, my brain broke there. Started to get a headache for some reason. Uh, each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or by defeating enemies. Fair enough. Uh, I didn't talk to him about that, actually. I can hear the ring ring of a bell chime. You mean... This old bell? An old woman asked me to offer it to Buddha. That bell. Have you seen it before? No. It is unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall Money. is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. Alrighty. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You'll understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? Not particularly right now, no. 
If you want more forms for that fang of yours, you'll need to search for more shinobi tools. There's no turning back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. Fair enough. Can do. And I pray with the bell to the Buddha. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts and awaken old memories from their slumber. Three years ago. Okay. All right. I'm in a new area. Presumably three years ago. Hirata Estate. Castle is burning. Okay. All right, this is fairly different. This is fairly different, but unfortunately, I don't have enough time to explore it. All right. Uh ha. Well. Oh, here we go. The acquire skills menu has been unlocked in the sculptor's idle menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points. All right. Let's look into that. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric tests. Te Why can't I say that word? <laughs> esoteric text for each style. I'll go. There are three types of skills. Combat arts, shinobi martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. Fair enough. All right, Shinobi Arts. This is a combat art of Whirlwind Slash. Spin, a spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, this Shinobi technique can be cut open a path to victory. Oh, so I hit both at once. Hmm. My controller's been uh, having problems with that particular sort of prompt lately. I'm not entirely sure if I can make it come out. Uh, let's look at the other one. Hmm. Martial art Mikuri, Mikuri counter. Mikuri? Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. Uh, enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon. Dealing a large amount of damage to posture. Whoa. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. B. The moment an enemy thrust attack lands. Stomp on the enemy's sword to render a thrust ineffective and deal a large amount of posture damage. That seems good to me. I'm gonna go after that. While sprinting. Oh. Oh. End a sprint by sliding, which puts you in a crouched position. Okay. And the other one is a latent skill. Suppress presence. Removing one's presence is part of what defines a shinobi. Hmm. I see. So that would make them unable to actually... Make them unable to actually hear and see me. Uh, when I do my stealth attacks. That's, that's a good idea to invest in later. Alright. Don't have anything to do with that. Can't do any of that. Okay. 
Guess I'll just travel back to the dilapidated temple. Alrighty. And I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and slowly discovering that maybe I'm not as good as I think I am. <laughs> I should stop being as cocky as I am. Ooh. Undying Samurai Technique Mikuri Counter Unlocked. Awesome. And, uh learning how to do skills and whatnot now because now we have enough points to do so and uh one death one true death for the counter uh, i think i'm up to three now yeah somewhere in that ballpark uh i didn't really pay attention in the last couple of episodes i'll have to rewatch them to make sure but yeah i think i'm up to three i think i'm up to three for the true death counter for you